Hello everyone, today we're gonna put eyes on Strife, Veteran Edition. Strife is an FPS, but it's also an RPG. Here we are, the game has started. We're in a bad position, surrounded. These two guards are going to learn the error of their ways pretty soon. Strife is a pretty hard game. I did finish it on the hardest difficulty. Wait, no, it's, hold on, scratch that. Not the hardest one, the one I put it on, Elite. I never tried Bloodbath. The first time I played this... I just went around uh, trying to kill all the guards. Those three you have to kill, but now that you're out, you don't. And at the time, I was high on Doom, and I didn't realize that... In a small world, word travels fast. I hear you just removed some obstacles from your path. Nice work. Are you interested in some more lucrative projects? Good. Some uh, friends of mine need someone silenced. Belden is being held by the Order in their sanctuary. There's a rarely used entrance by a small pier off the river which is unguarded. Get in, shut him up, and bring his ring back to me as proof. I'll guarantee 50 gold, and if you return without setting off every alarm in town, there's a chance to earn much, much more. And here's a little helper that should give you an edge. Good. Remember, his silence is golden. Anyway. That's the first quest, and as I was saying, I was high on Doom, feeling invincible, you know what, it's another FPS, let's just take out all the baddies, because that's what we do, right? Wrong. If I were to attack anyone in here, the entire map would go hostile on me and beat me down. I can't kill all that stuff with the punch dagger I have. So the visuals have been upgraded because this is a remastered edition. The game is built on the Doom engine. I don't know if crossing that's gonna set off the alarm, so I'm not gonna do that. Or I don't remember, rather. Anyway, well, I need the key for that. This area is a hub, so when you get your quests, you have to go to different areas that are connected to this one. First quest starts down there, but I want to visit the bar before, you know, take some liquid courage. And I am in a pretty bad shape, 39 health. I didn't remember how to use stuff. I'm kind of a talent broker for the rebels. A guy who is as good as you can make a lot of gold. If you hooked up with Now this right guy people. looks shady as old get go. Good choice. The order's sanctuary by the river is their unofficial torture chamber. Hidden inside there's a golden chalice. You swipe it and reap your reward. Here's a crossbow. Just aim straight and splat. Remember, grab the fancy cup and get to the tavern. Anyway, looks really shady, but we're stealing from the order, so these guys are the order. I'm okay with that.
Walk away, boy. Just walk away. Yep. I'll walk away. For now. Anyway, we have no money. Here you have the shops. Buy weapons, armor. Heal up. Yep. I got nothing. So... Let's go do that first quest. And hopefully not die. Yeah, I shouldn't go up from there. So here we are in a mission area. This sucks because that's gonna set off the alarm. And I can't do anything about it, so... This is where the FPS kicks in. This game was ahead of its time. And back in the day when I started playing it, I didn't really like it. Because it wasn't Doom. But the truth is, with the pass of time, I've come to really appreciate what this game did, what this game is. And there's a chalice, but there's a, a door. Or a barrier. I think the voices are really well done. They might feel a bit over the top or cliche, maybe, but I think they did a fantastic job. And the uh, comic book aesthetic, I think it's also great. As for the gameplay, the game just plays really good and it looks great. The original is really pixelated, I mean it's the Doom engine, and it's from 1990. From 94 or 96, I can't remember. And I didn't read the start screen, so... You know. Business as usual. Aww. Oh, I can't go through the window. You'll have to replace a window, though. I don't like that. There might be no cover and then the elevator might need an exit. Yep. We have to kill that guy. Why are you red? So as you can see, you also get an inventory. Hmm. 
Seems I forgot some stuff. Ah, here it is. Well, we'll complete the contract. Woof. Then get the chalice and then get the hell out of here. And the game does get harder as you go through. In later levels you get to fight a lot of monsters at the same time. Or enemies I should say, not monsters. And there's some really interesting things. There's this legendary weapon, which by this point is uh, a massive cliche or trope. But it works. And uh, the weapon in question is really powerful, and it also... its ammunition is your health. I really liked the concept of that weapon. And I still do. For now, let's go collect. This guy. Mission accomplished, you have the ring of the traitor? Here, you earned it. The traitor you killed was about to reveal the location of the front. You saved lives. How would you like to earn more gold than a future free from tyranny? I have a business relationship with the front's leader, Maisel. I know he needs an incisive fellow like yourself, and he pays well. Take this recovered comm unit and you'll be led to, shall we say, opportunities? Get going. If you hang around here, we're both dead. So I misremember that. This was not the bad guy. I think Harris was the guy that I said uh, looks shady or sounds shady. Listen, if this comm unit is working, that means you're still 100% human. I've been ordered to bring you in. We're talking trust here. Betray me and pay. Oh, and by the way, you can call me Blackbird. I really like her voice. I'm just going to say that. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Okay, yeah, that guy set us up. The chalice thing. Oh, man. Well, everyone in the tavern is in the warpath. I did say to not attack anybody, but... I didn't remember that. What? Oh, God. Anyway, you can see what happens when you, you start fighting in areas you shouldn't. I should have just run upstairs. I shouldn't have fired a shot from the outside, but I'll try to salvage this mess. Yeah, this, this is gonna end poorly. Oh man, the aiming is gonna get me killed, with well, the lack of it. I wish I had saved! Well, the enemies are infinite, so that's it. This run is dead. I really don't know how to defuse the situation, and that that gun on there, that's that's the big problem. The crossbow is terrible at shooting that. And so, 
All right, I'm not complaining, but next time we might try the way that isn't buckets of blood. Yeah, well. And that's it. If you don't save, you're dead. So, it is a really great game. I don't recall how to deal with the chalice, but that's fine. Plays great, looks great, and it's a blast from the past. If you like um, Golden Age shooters from the 90s, this is one of them with a twist. The RPG, the whole RPG structure it has. And it has plenty in the way of shooting. You just don't do it here. So, if you like what you see, give it a shot. It's definitely a really enjoyable game. Hey, I know, kind of looks like a setup. I would never do that to, to such a great killing machine. Got the item? Great. Now get ready. Gold and glory, just like I promised. Get lost, kid. You bother me. So, that guy. You know what happens to that guy? That. Anyway, I don't know if you can get to this room just by killing him outright and being done with it. And I got the poison arrows now, these are great, because you can kill anything, anywhere, without setting off alarms. They're also one-hit kills, so we might need that. All I know about the governor is he's playing both ends towards the middle. Here's his so-called mansion. So, you're the fool. Now they want all able-bodied peasants for uns- I like you already. I have two chores that I don't want to do myself. One of my minions is stealing power with a tap on the main somewhere. Find it and truncate his supply. And I'll, if I knew, it wouldn't be a chore now, would it? Use your charm. We need to speak to someone who knows the old town and where this coupling is. Command says fine. He's in what is politely called the bum hole. Take the walkway by the sewage plant and head down the stairs. This video took an unexpected turn. I didn't remember all the problems that the chalice caused. But that's how you get rid of it, and that's how you get back to the main quest line. So after that, unless you start shooting again, the guards on town shouldn't be bothering you anymore. But that's about it. With all that said, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Cheers.